Ole Miss pre-med student Troy Jackson and MSU pre-med student Alex Rule may attend schools known for their rivalries, but both seniors are on the same team for the next few weeks. The nurses, the sedating nurse usually monitors for the EKG. The aspiring doctors are part of North Mississippi Medical Center's physician shadowing program. But it's to bring them into the physician's world, let them see what it's all about, uh, even open up a lot of areas that maybe they hadn't even thought about. Competition for the program is intense. 36 applications were received, but only 12 slots were available. The students are paid minimum wage. They're also given lab jackets, but they provide their own accommodations. Both say the experience from the real life classroom is invaluable. Books usually tell you like the science part of everything, but they don't really tell you how to be a doctor. And so this kind of shows you the whole aspect from you know patient care and doing this stuff on the computer and paperwork. I think this is really important because a lot of, especially like TV shows and things, tend to glamorize uh, a physician's lifestyle, like ER, you know, and, and it's important to realize and to experience that it's not just saving patients all the time. It's a lot of like paperwork and things that are not so glamorous. Although Alex and Troy are entering a field facing changes and challenges because of the health care reform law, neither are stressing too much about life after med school. If you're getting into it for the right reasons and you want to be a doctor because you care about patients, then that should be something that is, is a minor factor in it. Both Alex and Troy have about 10 years of training and schooling ahead of them before they enter into private practice in whatever medical field they choose. And although demand for doctors is expected to be high for years to come, they both say they'll continue to look for opportunities like the physician shadowing program to help keep them one step ahead of the competition. In Tupelo, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.